Well, British politics often regarded as a beacon of democracy. Have we become a laughing stock? <laughs> And can we still say we are proud to be British? Well, we're going to have a debate about this now. And joining us to do that is comedian and activist Kate Smirthwaite, uh, who says that she is embarrassed to tell people that she's British. And we have political commentator Dominique Samuels, who says, despite the chaos we've seen over the last few weeks, we still have a lot to be proud of. Because the case for chaos and embarrassment <laughs> has been put so clearly, Dominique, I'm going to come to you, first of all, for the other side. Uh, why should we still be proud of our politics and our situation? Well, firstly, looking at all of those clips that you showed, um, you would think that there isn't any chaos in Europe. I mean, people are out on the streets mm -hmm. protesting uh, because they can't afford to eat or mm -hmm. heat their homes. In America, they've got a president that can barely string a sentence together and people are actually worrying about his cognitive decline. So I wouldn't say the UK is unique in terms of hiring our issues, mm -hmm. but the point is, if you are basing whether or not you're proud of your country on your government, on who is in power, in power, you are bound to be sorely disappointed every single time, because no matter mm. who is in power, our politicians will disappoint no matter who it is. What is important about this country and what we can be proud of uh, is the people that live here, um, is the culture, our sarcasm, our British crime dramas, our monarchy. These are all things that do not go away. And I think that, you know, particularly those on the left that do like to talk down our country a lot, they're browbeating people. They're making people think that, you know, they have to be angry all the time based mm. upon, you know, what Boris Johnson's done or mm. what Liz Truss has done. And I but think that's been, ridiculous. It's been such mm. a shambles. You can't deny that it's been a to you're quite right to make the points about about mm -hmm. biden and what's happening in europe but but what's happened here in the last month has been so shambolic i think the problem is it's confounded people's expectations and their view of us my son for example has just moved to boston and america with his family to, uh, to work and he's been telling me over the phone that it what's embarrassing to him is that people are coming up to him and saying we thought you brits were better organized than this we thought you had a bit more solidity than this what's happened to you and that's the feedback that he's getting the problem is, when it comes to our politics, is it's very, very outdated. I will accept that. And, and as we've seen, our political system, we're at a point of upheaval where nobody's happy. And I think what will probably happen, and what I hope will happen, um, is that somewhere along the line we'll get some sort of political shock where both Labour and the Conservatives are tossed to the side and people actually get some proper representation. But until then, you cannot base whether or not you're proud of your country on who is running it, because, like I said, you'll be disappointed every time. Kate, it's a fair point, isn't it? If we're looking to our politicians but to make us proud, that... maybe we're setting ourselves up for disappointment. Well, but if we're saying we can't base whether we're proud of our country on how it's run or not, then we're, we're sort of admitting that our democracy is broken. And I agree, incidentally, it's broken. We're not, you know, none of these candidates have the support of the majority of people around Britain. We're absolutely talking about who a small group of either Conservative Party members or Conservative MPs mm. want in charge. And... And, 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 and it's absolutely clear that that's not what democracy was ever intended to be. But why does that make you embarrassed? Why does that make you embarrassed? But, make you but embarrassed? we are the country that marches around the world claiming mm. to be bringing democracy to everybody else. And we're like, here, look at this wonderful thing. Oh, no, we can't do it. Oh, <laughs> gosh, no, we're terrible at it. Oh, the way that we're doing it, absolute omni-shambles. And I, I also, I take moderate issue with the question, like, are we still proud to be British? Like, I mean, when were we proud to be British? The British history well, is not very, no. well, it's not very I, impressive. I'm proud of When it comes to the way that we've treated people all around the world. The way that we continue to treat people. I think well, there that's are, a fair there point. But our, we can be proud of. Kate, our political system has been the model for lots of other systems, hasn't it? It's been the longest in place, the role of Prime Minister, for more than 300 years. Mm -hmm. It has been used as an example, maybe rightly or wrongly, you might argue, but it has been. So there was an element of pride in that, wasn't there, at one point? Well, sometimes it's been used as a model, but often it's been forced on people while we're also ripping away their natural resources mm -hmm. and taking people away. From, I mean, there's a horrific history of the way these things have happened. How I is do this, think that how there is this are... relevant, though? I, I don't understand that. How, how is how the history you, of how, Britain relevant to how, whether or not I feel proud to how be British? Are you, how, are you, how are you basing it? people that died a long time ago, the things that they did, mm. on whether or not people should be proud of this country Well, have today? we paid reparations someone, for the way that we treated people during the transatlantic as, slave trade? No, we haven't. As so an ethnic minority, we no, as an ethnic minority though, we haven't paid for As those. an ethnic minority, though, I don't want to be lectured by people like you... Well, I'm not lecturing you. I'm about saying we things should pay that happened reparations hundreds of to years those ago. who deserve it. But that, this is an old conversation. I'm not saying you left, shouldn't continue feel to proud. rehash this I'm saying to I'm get people angry. And it's unhelpful. It's quite a toxic way of doing But this is interesting that you're like, let's not 
get people angry. Look, I think that, you know, you've said yourself, we need a shock, we need a change to the system, the current sort of two-party system well, isn't working colonialism, for you. Though. But how can we have a shock to the system if people don't get angry? Is there angry nothing, about what's going on now? Can I just now? ask you, is there, nothing, about... is there nothing in the British way of life? In, oh. in, in, in present times, is there nothing about the way that we, we conduct ourselves as a nation? I, move away from politics. Is there nothing about it that makes you proud? There are elements of what such, is such happening as. in Britain that I'm incredibly proud of, such as the NHS, for example. But look at what's happening right now. We're not funding the NHS. It's falling apart. It's understaffed. We haven't put the resources into it year after year after year. What about our position, on Ukraine? Year year what about our position on Ukraine? You're not proud of that? The fact that we've, we've been in the, in the forefront of defending Ukrainian rights? We haven't Ukrainian been at the forefront rights? of yes, defending we have. Of course we have. Ukraine. Absolutely not. What we've been at the forefront of is fan the flames of, of, of that of that Fanning the flames? Escalating. Are you serious? We've abs Boris Johnson, we know now that he stepped away from helping to put peace talks on the table. We know that he hasn't Putin's been... not interested in peace talks. What, what, what Putin had agreed want? to go to these peace talks. Now, whether they would have been productive, that's all, you know, something that's very difficult. But wars don't end when violence escalates and escalates and escalates. Wars end when people sit round a table and have a conversation. So, you're not so we proud should of... be one of those voices saying, <laughs> we need to sit round the table and have this discussion. Putin and that is sit... not the way... But Putin won't the... sit round the table. What are you talking about? P P Putin well, is... How is... often are we saying that? How often are we calling for that? How often are we making that case? We're not. What we're doing is fanning the flames of militarism, because unfortunately that's what, that's well, what I, media I think outlets... The I mean, it's, it's, like it's, it's not what I particularly invaded. came that's on here to discuss this morning. But no, I don't <laughs> think the way You don't think it's Putin who's fanning... You don't think it's Putin who's fanning the flames Putin of militarism? Way, way, way out of line. Of course Putin's So we shouldn't have stood by them, because that would but, be fanning the flames of militarism. But, but, it's nonsensical. But when all we do is talk about escalating militarism, we discourage him from feeling that he can come to the table. Now, I'm not saying... I mean, he's absolutely out of line, of course, but how do we stop that? Kate, how do we end wars? We end wars Kate, by sitting I want to give table and talking. Yeah, yeah, you're right, but, but when and that we're option not, we're was not... there, he moved his people in. That's the problem. Dominic, um, we need to come back to you, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give us your final thoughts. Uh, final thoughts would be, look... We're all aware of history, you all have different opinions on it, but at the end of the day, Britain is about the people of this country, we're the heart of this country, and regardless of what happens or who's in government, we should always be proud of it. And, and that's how you build a strong foundation for a country. That's how we come together as a community, not by stoking division, which is what I think Kate's... I don't well, think we have I don't a strong think foundation, and we don't have a strong foundation. We do have we a strong foundation. We can see that foundation. because our democracy is falling apart, okay. because the situation is going crazy, and in order to change that, we need to fact, admit the, that there's the, a problem. But, the, but why it's good is the fact that we have mechanisms to change that. There are so Which many... working. There are so what many... Mechanisms? Yeah, but there are why so many countries right? around the world. I tell you what we've got a mechanism for. Well, it's not happening. Like, communist China, they don't have any mechanisms to get rid of their leaders. We do. OK, we our problem we're not is that we've run out of time, guys. We need I'm really to. sorry. Our, our problem is we're out of time. Our clock mechanism is not functioning. Our Twitter one is, though. And we asked you if you were still proud to be British. Only 24% of you said yes, uh, 76,000 wow. said no, and 21,000 people voted in that. You can still get involved if you want to change that positioning, but that's where it is right now. 26. Thank you to Thank both, you both of you. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed.